All right then gang, so we've made a start on this to-do app, we've done the header and we're outputting these to-dos right here. But now what I'd like to do is switch my focus to these to-dos and do two things. First of all, make them look a bit better because they look a bit boring at the minute. And then secondly, I want to attach some kind of press event to each one so that when we press on one, it takes that and it deletes it from the array of to-dos. So to do this, we're actually going to create a separate component for our to-do template so we're not just going to nest it all here we're going to create a separate component much like we did for the header and again that just makes our code more reusable a bit more maintainable and tidier so let me delete this and let me replace it with a to-do item component now we don't have this component at the minute we've not created it but we are going to do that in a second so inside components in this folder we created right click new file and call this to do item.js okay so in here first of all we need to import a few things at the top so again i'm just going to grab these two because i don't want to write them out from scratch and i'll get rid of use state because we don't need any state inside this component for a single to do we don't need flat list either and we don't need a view we do need the text and the style sheet and we do also need touchable opacity if i can spell it correctly there we go because we're going to surround a text component with the touchable opacity component so we can touch those different items and then react to that. So then down here, we need to actually export default function and it's going to be called to do item. Now then inside here, we want to receive the props. So we could say props like this. And what we could do is we could pass a prop called item and set that equal to this item right here like that and then inside the component over here we could access that item by saying props dot item but the way i like to do this is instead of just passing through props like this i like to destructure from props by using the curly braces and then just getting the properties from the props i want to use in this case item so now we can use item inside this component and it refers to whatever item we pass through. Remember this flat list, it cycles through the data and it's going to output a to do item component for each item. And each time it's going to pass through the item, the object right here to this component now. So we can access that and we can access from it the text property, which is what we ultimately want to output. So we need to return some JSX right here. So let's do that. We say return and inside the first thing I want is a touchable opacity component that is going to surround our text component. And that's because we need at some point an on press handler in this. We're not going to do that just yet. We'll come back to that later. OK, so this text is just going to output the item dot text. And then it should output these things right here. Now we also want a style sheet inside this file. So let me create those const and we'll call it styles is equal to style sheet and dot create. And inside we pass an object represents our style sheet. And first of all, we're going to create a style for the actual item itself. In fact, that is the only thing we need to create a style for. So we'll say item and there's a few things going to go on here. First of all, padding we need to add about 16 pixels of padding in all directions then a margin top of about 16 pixels as well and then after that let's say border color is going to be bbb which is kind of like a light gray and then border width which is going to be one and then the border style now that could be solid which is the default or dotted or dashed which is like little lines and then after that, we'll do one more border radius. Oops, not border, border. And that is going to be about 10 pixels. OK, so we have all of these different styles now and we can apply them to this text component by saying style is equal to styles dot text. OK, so now we have this component done. What we could do is go over here and we could import that at the top by saying import and it's going to be to do item from dot forward slash components to go into the components folder, then forward slash to do item. OK, so we're nesting that here. So hopefully we should see this template for every item. 
So let me save it and we should see that over here in a second. Okay, we can see those, but they don't have the styles, which is not expected. And that's because I've said styles.text and it should be styles.item, stupidly. Okay, styles.item. Save that and hopefully now we should see that. Okay, cool. So looking a lot better. So the next thing we want to do is add an on press handler to each one of these things. So when we press on one of these, then it actually deletes it. Now, how do we do that? Because we can't delete it from here because the state doesn't actually belong inside this function or this component. It belongs in this one. Now, if you're used to React with web, you probably already know how to do this. If you're not used to it, then basically what we have to do is create a function to interact with the state right here inside this component, then pass that function as a prop to this component so we can call it when we click on an item. So since the function is gonna be created in this component, it can interact with this state. I hope that makes sense. So let me first of all create that function. And to do that, we'll create a constant and we'll call it press handler. And that is gonna be equal to a function which takes in the key, the specific key, right? Because we're gonna use that to identify which object to delete. And inside here, we're gonna do the same as we did before when we were working with state and people. So I'm gonna say set, and then it's to do's. And we're gonna pass a function into this because we're gonna rely on the current or previous to do's. And I'll call that prev to do's. And then inside here, we're gonna return a new array, which is gonna be prev to do's dot filter. So we're gonna filter through the previous to do's, the current state, and we're gonna take out the one which has this key that we pass in. So we have a function in here which takes the individual to do as we cycle through the array, and then we return either true or false. So we're gonna to say to do dot key is not equal to the key that we pass in, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna take this function right here, and we're gonna pass it down as a prop into this component. So I'm gonna say press handler is equal to press handler. So now we're receiving this function right here inside this component. So over in this component, I can destructure that by saying press handler like so. And on the on press event right here, I wanna fire an anonymous function. And then that in turn is gonna call press handler and it's going to pass in the key from the item we have access to that we can say item dot key so it's going to call this function press handler and it's going to pass in the item key so over here we receive that key and then we can filter the item with that key out of the array and return the new one that's what we're doing here so let me save that now and preview and see if this works so when i click on one of these hopefully it should delete it and it does awesome so there we go, step two complete. We've now done the header, we've done the list of to-dos and attached the press handler to those to-dos. In the next video, we wanna finish this off by adding a form at the top. So when a user types into that and clicks submit, it adds that new to-do to this state right here and therefore updates the to-do list over here.